All right, hello everyone, and uh, we are back again. You know, uh, request of you it keep coming to me, and I have uh, I have a weakness uh, in the front of uh, exposing the false and telling the truth. So even though I just made a video you know, a few hours ago, uh, I could not really uh, uh, wait to answer a request uh, came to me from one of you. Now, in front of us, we see that this is the Independent from England, and I'm not going to show all newspapers in the world, but you will notice the majority of them, they are condemning what uh, Trump he did. Simply because, you know, the, the whole world media, they are perfectly correct. And look what they are seeing. It's very, uh, you know, like uh, uh, in Washington Post, they are saying that Trump, he became the sponsor of Islamophobia. And look how stupid they are. They just said in the same article that the Muslims now they are going to burn cars, they are going to burn countries, and they are talking about Islamophobia. <laughs> I mean, if Muslims are nice people, why? And, and we have Islamophobia, and Trump is a sponsor of Islamophobia. So what do you mean they are going to burn, and they are going to kill, are going to kidnap, and they are going to kidnap foreigners, and more stabbing will happen, all of this? All of this, and we are Islamophobia. <laughs> you mean you know you know what you know what I'm saying? I mean those people are really dumb and stupid. We are the ones who have Islamophobia. We are just saying that Islam is peace, and if a Trump he you no know, say something Muslim don't like, uh, the Muslim they will burn the countries. And they do will do, do more beheading. I look here at this article from Independent. Donald Trump says recognizing Jerusalem as a capital of Israel will bring peace. It will do quite the opposite. I want to ask the stupid people who work in the media from the left. Can you name for me when the last time the Middle East have peace? Like, do the Middle Eastern have peace? Peace before even Trump was born. I mean, are you dumb or dumb? You know, you know what I'm saying? When the last time in the Middle East, I am from the Middle East and I'm an Arab. When the last time we have peace, you idiot. What did Trump have to do with the peace and war? The war about Jerusalem happened a long time ago when the Muslims invade Jerusalem, you filthy cowards. Why nobody want to say the truth? Why everybody became politically correct? Even the Pope is politically correct. I mean, what kind of Pope? The Pope he is politically correct. Why nobody want to say the truth? And let me tell you, me as an Arab, I prefer to live under the Israeli government one million times and not to live under Muslim government. And you can ask any Muslim who live there, they will tell you. You have equal rights, you have equal salary, you are a citizen, and even there is many Muslims are member in the parliament. Now show me when the last time a Jewish guy he became a member in the parliament of Muslim countries. Huh? You will see a Muslim saying Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar in the middle of the parliament of Israel. What's wrong with people? Now one of you sent me an article written by Muslims speaking of that muslims they defend non-muslims uh, let me see where is uh oh, here we go the muslims guys they protect the christians and the jews i mean you see how bad we are we christian and jews we are denying the protection of the muslims you filthy liars we pay money for it you did not do us a favor You did not do us a favor. We paid jizya. You are a gang. We paid money for every day we live. 
and you did not let us live because you are a nice you 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 Muslims are nice people. No, because we paid money. Because you are greedy and you love money and you are filthy. This is the truth. So look here. Under Islamic Sharia law, the Ahlul Dimma, you know, they have a right. Okay, what is the right of the Christians and the Jews? I'm going to read for you today. The right on the Christians of the Jews from the most wonderful just of just justice person in the history of Islam. His name is Umar ibn al-Khattab. Umar ibn al-Khattab. You can go in the internet and you can search for the Pact of Umar. Now, what is the Pact of Umar in case you do not know? The Pact of Omar is the conditions Omar he put on the Christians and on the Jews when he attack and invade Jerusalem. You see, they claim that Jerusalem is their land. This is not their land. This is their books. This is their history. And they are the one who copy for us this history. And every letter written there, the, every Muslims agree about it. In the seventh century is the first time an Arab person entered Jerusalem. Before that, there is no Arab. So this is not an Arabian city. Who was there before the Arab? Who is the one who built Jerusalem? The redneck from Norway? Or the Jews? Why people are coward and liars and filthy and scam? Now let us see what Umar he put as conditions and we will compare between the conditions of the Muslims on the Christians and the Jews and the conditions of the Jews today on the Christians and the Muslims in Israel. Muslims they have mosque in every corner in Israel. Muslims they can pray in the street in Israel. Muslims they don't pay jizya in Israel. When the last time a Jewish soldier he raped a, mu a Muslim woman, and how many Jewish women the Muslims they raped and they enslaved, and how many people they killed, and how many Jew and Christians they killed? Filthy, disgusting, untruthful people. Those who work in the media. But it doesn't matter. We are here to expose you. You can lie as much as you want. Here, we provide evidence. Israel never was an occupation. This is the land of Israel. Even the Quran in chapter 5, verse number 21, even the Quran confirmed that this is the holy land which Allah, the scumbag Allah, he assigned to the Jews. And if you do not know how to read Quran, I can read it for you. And I can show you the Muslim translation. We will go back to the back to former after I show you this. Even you see the whole book of the Quran, the, the yellow pages of Muhammad never mentioned the word Palestine. Do you believe it? And never mentioned the word Palestinian. Do you believe it? And not only that, the Quran says that Allah He punished the Jews for 40 years, they lost their way to Jerusalem. Because they did not kill those who live there. Do you believe it? This is the Quran in front of you. And this is the Muslim translation. Every scumbag of those names is a liar. But I'm going to use their translation just to get them busted. Allah told Moses. And Allah reminded them what happened. Do you remember when I told Moses go and enter the Holy Land? Which Allah assigned to you. So which land is assigned to the Jews? And who is the one who assigned it? It is the God of the yellow pages. It's called the Quran, the God of the Muhammadan. And then what happened? They said, Moses, we will not go in war. Huh? There is violent people live there. Obviously, those are not the, the, not, not the Arab because there is no Arab at that time. As we showed you the first time the Arab, they entered the city and the land of Israel. It was in the 7th century. So the Jews refused to kill and do jihad. 
only two men from the whole Jewish nation according to the Quran and those two they were they were fearing men of Allah two of them from the whole nation of Israel there is only two Jew they are true Muslims they agree to do jihad and they agree to kill whoever lived there so if whoever lived there is the Palestinian but those are a true Palestinian not the scumbag who occupy a land and then they call themselves Palestinian you see the Muslims they occupy Syria they call themselves Syria they occupy Egypt they call themselves Egyptian they occupy Morocco they call themselves Moroccan but they are not Moroccan and they are not Egyptian Egypt is in Africa Morocco in Africa Libya in Africa Tunis in Africa and the Arab not from Africa the Syrian are white very white they have a blonde eyes blonde hair you know green eyes blue what those have to do with the Arab Bedouin in the desert of Saudi Arabia so they occupy your land and then they force you to change your language to change your name to change your clothes and they do work hard to 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 uh, what they call it uh, Arab, uh, Arabize, I don't know like you know to, to make you an Arab this is why you see someone who live in Pakistan but his name is a Muslim name and you are using Arabic letters So here we see the story that Allah, he is praising two men only from the whole nation of the Jews and why he praised them. Read with me why he praised them. Because they wanted to kill every Palestinian. Read with me. But among them, there, there is fear in men where two on, on, on whom Allah had bestowed his grace. They said, assault them at the proper gate. What? Allah praising the one who will assault the, 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 the Palestinian. Allah himself is saying that those two men who say that they are Allah fearing men. Do you see it? Why the word is the word of hypocrisy and shame on you. And I want every one of you after we finish this video to download this video and share it everywhere and I am Christian Prince I am an Arab from the Middle East I am saying the truth and you do not need to be genius to see that even the book of the Muslims the Muhammadan is saying here the truth for sure that the story here is having some lies but saying the truth that this is the land of the Jews but look what happened Allah wanted to kill all the, 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 the Palestinians. It is Allah who is the one who started the war. Allah is not a Trump. It is not Netanyahu. It is not the Jews. It is Allah. Allah ordered the Jews to go and attack that land before the Arab entry. There is no Arab there. Why nobody speak of that? You see, the Muslims didn't talk about this chapter. They hide it. Like, they don't even heard of it. And look what happened because the nation of Israel refused to go in war and kill who live in that land Allah he made the Jews lose their way in the middle of the desert Allah said therefore therefore what because he told him my Lord they don't want to go in war My, they don't want to go in war. What I can do? So Musa told Allah, they don't want to go in war. Look what Allah He said. Allah made decision to punish the Jews for not killing the Palestinians. Allah said, therefore, will the land be out of their reach for forty years, and they will lose their way in the desert. Is that Quran or yellow pages? Are you Muslim going to say that this is a weak story? So this is the original of the story according to Islam. So according to Islam, Allah, he got angry from the Jews for not killing Palestinians. And the Jews disobey Allah by not killing the Palestinians. And only two Jews plus Musa, according to Islam, they wanted to kill every Palestinian to obey Allah. As you see, Allah himself is calling those who want to do jihad for the sake of Allah among their Allah fearing men were two 
on whom Allah had bestowed his grace Oof. you see Allah bestowed his grace on them why he is saying that why Allah praising those two men look they said assault them who the Palestinian at the proper gate so what did Trump have to do with this you idiot who is the donkey gave you a pen to write an article now we go and we read the pact of Omar to show you who is really qualified to have Jerusalem the Muslims let us say let us say for the sake of argument the Jews invade Jerusalem which is not true this is their land and the Arab they invade Jerusalem and this is true even Muslim books saying that even Muslim books cannot deny it you can go right now and search for the pact of Omar and read it now the Muslim they lie and they say Islam protect non-Muslims Islam never protect non-Muslims and we will prove it to you Islam humiliate non-Muslims in order to strip them from their money and to make them work for them like a cow who give milk for free look at the conditions let us go down and start so the first condition we heard from Abdul Abdu Abdu Rahman etc etc died etc etc blah blah etc okay that when Omar al-Khattab may God be pleased with him accorded a peace to the Christian of Syria Christian of Syria at that time Syria what they mean by that is Israel Jerusalem Damascus etc we wrote to him as the follows in the name blah 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 okay now the condition the Christian agree they are forced to agree <laughs> nobody will agree with this they are forced to agree we shall not build in our city or in their neighborhood new ministries churches convenient or monk cells we will not repair by day or night any of those which mean if a church is going to collapse we will not fix it you see he is preparing them like slowly slowly we get rid of them and in the same time they can generate a lot of money for us then we shall get our gate wide open for press by and the traveler any Muslim can go inside the Christian house and stay for three days or three nights for free imagine do you see how much they protect us you have a house and then somebody knock at your door actually your door should be open otherwise he will be angry and he will slaughter you you and your family and then he will stay in your house for three days and three nights for free eating drinking in your house we shall not give a shelter in our church or in our dwelling to any spy nor hide him for the Muslims we shall not teach the Quran to our children do you believe it do you see the fear of the Muslims guys do you see the fear of the Muslims they are putting conditions on the Christians that you on to the children's do you know why anyone knows why they put conditions that we should not teach our children's Quran well ask yourself a question how many Muslims they pray to Allah that Christian Prince disappear tomorrow you know what I mean and what the Christian Prince do he teach you Quran don't he he show you how faithy this religion is so they want to be sure that the Christians they will stay ignorant about Islam so they cannot understand the filth of this cult so it's forbidden for you to teach your children don't use a bad language in my chat please otherwise I will block you I think I blocked the wrong person don't use a bad language in my chat otherwise I will block you we are not Muslims here if you are a person who say the word, leave So this is the Pact of Omar. The Pact of Omar 
is the most disgusting. Imagine when the American they enter Iraq, they practice the pact of Omar on the Iraqi. America spent billions of dollars building hospitals and schools in Iraq. This is something nobody report to you. Same in the faith of Afghanistan. If we say to the Muslims, we are going to practice the pact of Omar on you, but in the opposite direction. You will never build a mosque and you will never fix a mosque and you cannot pray in front of us and you cannot pray in the, in, the, in the street and you cannot teach your children the Bible and not only that. We shall not display our cross or our books in the roads or market of the Muslims. We shall use only clappers in our churches very softly. We shall not raise our voices when following our dead. We shall not show light of any of the roads of the Muslims in their market, we shall not bury our dead near the Muslims. <laughs> I mean, you see the justice of Islam? What is left of your rights? Nothing. We shall not take a slave who is being alluded to Muslims. What? We shall not build a house overtopping the house of Muslims, but there's no Muslims in the city. They are already talking about houses of Muslims, but there's zero Muslim in the city. What is left? And not to forget, you have to pay the jizya in order to live. Huh? We shall not engrave Arabic in script in our seals. You can read the rest of it. I mean, you know, read it. Take your time. And not only that, remember, this is just the conditions of Omar, but there's all the Sharia law on the Christians. As an example, if a Muslim murder a Christian, what is the punishment? Anybody knows? What is the punishment of murdering a Christian? If a Muslim he murder a Christian, Muhammad he said clearly, there is no Muslim will be killed for killing, for murdering a non-believer. In Iran right now, if a Muslim Iranian, he kill a Christian or a Jew, the penalty is what is equal to $500. It is less than the price of a cow in Iran. But if a Muslim, he kill a Muslim, the Muslim will be killed. If a Muslim, if a Christian kill a Muslim, for sure he will be slaughtered immediately. But if a Muslim kill non-Muslim, there is no punishment. The, the worst scenario, he will pay some money, blood money to the family. That's it. So when they say to you, Islam protect, it's a big fat lie. You know, if you go to Ibn Kathir as an example, let me open Ibn Kathir just to show you the scam of Muhammadan. If we go to Ibn Kathir, let us open the website. Hold on. We go to Quran scam.com. Here we go. All right. This is Quran X.com. This is a Muslim website, not my website. So, you know, Muslims, they will say, oh, he is, uh, uh, is giving you false uh, stories. And this is their famous scholar, Ibn Kathir, the scumbag Ibn Kathir. We will go to chapter 9, verse 29, which says that the Christians, in order to live, they have to pay money. You pay, we let you live. It's a gang, it's a mafia. And not only you have to pay money, no. You have to be humiliated. They have you, the Muslim have the right to spit on you. Actually, there's a video I used to have it in my computer, but I need to look for it about the Muslim explaining how the Christians used to be forced, even when they ride a donkey, they cannot ride a donkey and their face facing the street. They have to face the ass of the donkey. And he was explaining, saying, Well, this is a great way to force the Christians and the Jews to convert to Islam. The child, he will ask his father, Dad, why you are sitting in such a funny way like this, facing the ass of the donkey? Have you ever heard more than 30 
disgusting mafia like this this is how they were able to force all those millions to convert to Islam read me and again this is not my statement this is a statement of the Muslim scholars and the Quran and feel themselves subdued who the Christians and the Jews this ayah means this is will be your com uh, uh, commission for the closed market to you you feared would result etc okay okay so those they have to pay by the jizya they earned from the people of the book the Muslim they are earning our jizya the Muslims they are living their life is stock actually is from the Christians and he continue there in what benefits you the money they will take it from the Christian to benefit the Muslims and then he said the following fight against those who don't believe in Allah blah 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 kill them slaughter them until until what until they pay the jizya with willing and submission feel themselves subdued the liars the Muslim they say to you don't you pay tax this is tax liar filthy liar this is not tax let us read together what the jizya mean exactly and Allah said until they pay the jizya if they do not choose to embrace Islam so this was a penalty with willing submission in defeat huh? and humiliation and feel themselves subdued disgraced humiliated be uh, 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 created uh, therefore the Muslims are not allowed to honor the people of the dhimma or elevate them above the Muslims for they are miserable disgraced humiliated Muslim recorded from Abu Huraira that the Prophet said what the Prophet said read carefully don't initiate the salam to the Jews and the Christians and if you meet any of them in the road force them to the most narrow alley so if a Christian he is walking in the street and a Muslim he is coming or a Jew the Christian have to jump in the narrowest alley what is the narrowest alley in, in, that, in, in, in these days it was the sewage there's open channel for dirty water coming from the houses Christian is not allowed to walk in the same street, the same road with the filthy Muhammadan. This is the truth, my friend. And now here explain why Umar Khattab he was emulating the Christian. He said, This is why the faithful Umar ibn Khattab, may Allah pleased with him. You see how much pleased with him? Demand his will known conditions be met by the Christians. These conditions are ensured. Their continues of humiliation. Do you see it? The guardiation and disgrace. The scholars of the hadith narrated from Abu Abdul Rahman, etc., etc. And he continued here speaking about the pact of Amr, which we spoke already about how the Muslims they humiliate the Christians. So be honest with yourself. Those who defend the Muhammadan and they lie and they say that this is their land. Shame on you. Shame on you. A shoe of a Jew is better than your face. Guys, if somebody is an idiot, just ignore him. You know, let me let me ban this idiot. And the one who talk about gays, obviously he is a gay. A filthy Muslim, he speak about gays. Your prophet, he put eyeliner three times a day. So the truth is in the front of your eyes. And I did not show you one verse from the Torah, one verse from the Bible, one verse from a, a, a Trump book. All of this is from Muslim books. Muslim books are witnessing that Islam humiliated the Christians and the Jews, discriminated. A Muslim will not be killed for killing a murder for a murder. Imagine 
even if you are a murderer, even if you murder a Christian or a Jew, don't worry, be happy. You will not be killed. You pay, and not only that, if a Muslim he killed a Christian, not only he will not be killed, he will pay a half of a blood money. Which means, let us say, a Muslim he killed a Muslim, and the family they accepted to take a blood money. In the case of the Christian, there's no way the Muslim will not be killed anyway. We showed you that in the previous hadith, as you see. How about equal in the blood money? Okay, we cannot we cannot you know seek justice, and this guy will be executed for killing our son. So what about the blood money? Even the blood money is half of a human. The blood of a Christian or a Jew is equal to half of a human because only Muslims are a human according to Islam. Do you see it? It is half of the blood money of a free Muslim. By the way, <laughs> Uh, free Muslim, it's mean a white Muslim because if you are a black Muslim and you get killed, I mean, you are a potato anyway, they hate you, they don't care for the black one. This is why it says a free Muslim because Muslim they used to own Muslims, as you remember, Bilal the Ethiopian. He, you know, Muhammad he died and still Bilal was a slave and Bilal was a Muslim, supposedly. So if Bilal he was killed by other Muslim. He will not have equal right because it's in front of you. It says, "This is the half of blood of money of a free Muslim, not any Muslim, the free one." So don't let the liars lie to you. Muslims never protect anyone, and Muslims nobody want to live in their their condition. Actually, even the Muslim today in the year 2017, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12. The Muslims are flooding Europe because they are sick of their land. Nobody want to live under Islamic rules. Why the Syrian, they run to Europe? Why nobody trying to get a refugee to Saudi Arabia? The only one who could not do it is the one though, like have a children, they have a family, they could not cross the sea. Or they don't have money to travel. Otherwise, nobody would like to go to Jordan. Nobody want to go to Saudi Arabia. And they are not welcome in Jordan. On Jordan, they put all the Syrian inside camps as a prisoners, and nobody is allowed to leave the camp. For five years, they are prisoners inside the camp. This is how the Muslims they treat Muslims. This is why the Muslims they want to come to your land because in your land they live like a human. In your land, they come as a refugee and then they get citizenship. Those who call themselves Palestinian, they are refugee in many Arabian countries for more than 50 years. Until now, they don't have citizenship and they will never give it to them. In America, you go here, five years, you apply for citizenship. You apply for a green card. That is the truth, my friend. So don't let people lie to you and don't let people fool you. I want to stop here so you guys can download the video and keep it as much as I can. So I hope I answered the brother who uh, who sent me the, uh, uh, the question. And if there is any Muslim he have the courage and the knowledge to debate me let me know I am the Christian Prince and I am the nightmare of your God the pimp the vagina vendor Muhammad we know that there is no Allah we know that this is a fiction stupid God we know that this is a pagan God never exist and we know who is the true God of Islam it is Muhammad if you say the F word, nobody even get upset. But if you say the F word to Muhammad, they will chop you pieces. For they worship Muhammad, not Allah. And you know, I find it very funny that people they are saying the Muslims now will get so angry and they will burn. My friend, their countries are burned. There's nothing left to burn. What is left of Syria? 
what is left of Yemen, what is left of Egypt, what is left of Iraq, what is left of all the countries, even Iran, which supposed to have no war, go and see there. They don't have countries to burn. And the filthy ones, the rich ones of them, their money is here. Do you know what happened yesterday? Did you hear about the Saudi prince who bought a paint? And this paint is supposedly a picture of Jesus. Do you know how much he spent for it? Four hundred fifty million dollar. Let me find the news for you. Four hundred fifty million dollars. And they say to you, the Palestinians are hungry, and the Israeli are not giving them electricity. Huh? Four hundred fifty, not one million, not two million, four hundred fifty million dollar for a picture have nothing to do with Islam anyway. Like if this picture is about Muhammad, I will say, you know what? It's for Muhammad. It's not even for Muhammad. This is the most expensive paint exist ever. He called a day before the auction and he deposit $100 million for the auction. And he, according to the news, if the auction continue to go up to a billion dollars, he will buy it. Yet they say to you, let us blame the Jews. Why the Palestinians are poor? Because of the Jews. They don't have electricity, they don't have jobs, they don't work. Go and see what they do, they are scammers. The only one who have jobs in that country is the Christian. Those are the true Palestinian. Muslims are not Palestinian. Or what they do, they refuse. They refuse to work. They, re they, they receive uh, uh, what they call it, the, the inter like uh, the United Nations assistant, money and cobon for sugar and rice and etc. Free electricity, free education, free books, free, 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 free for the last 50 years. But they don't work. They just have more babies. When the Islamic countries, even when they have money, what they do with their money? Look, this is what they do. A Saudi prince, he bought the biggest yacht. A uh, Emirati prince, he bought the most expensive car made from gold. The other guy he bought sport team, a theater. I mean, those people they are obsessed with buying things just to show off. If this guy and I decide to sell this paint, who is going to buy it? Who is the crazy he wanna spend four hundred fifty million dollars even if you have it? All these stupid people, they spend money on this picture. And actually, for me, I see it as a, just a stupid picture. What does this guy have to do with Jesus? It looked like a woman, actually. <laughs> Dump, stupid, filthy, and they, they, have, they have no respect for their own fellow citizen. In Saudi Arabia, there's millions of people, they are homeless. Yet there is one prince, he can buy a picture for 450. And actually many of them, they are saying the one who bought it is the crown prince, which means the coming king. He sent another prince to do the auction because he didn't want to put his name there. And that makes sense. This is the truth. And I just shared the truth with you i want to say thank you for being with us don't forget to share my videos download it and tell everybody about what we do 
And if you like to read my books, you can go to Amazon.com and you can search for a Christian Prince. And you will find a list of my books in Amazon. And if you like to bring me a Muslim to debate me, to watch a live debate and see how we can expose Islam with no mercy. We don't do anything. We have no we say things as it is. This is why I use the word filthy. This is why I use the word scam. This is why I use all kind of words which is true. For I am a true person. I say things as it is. I don't do sugar coating. I don't I don't say sir. I don't I don't care. I say it as it is. A person who don't dare to say things as it is is not even worth to listen to him. For he's a liar. Thank you and God bless you. And see you tomorrow. For tomorrow is a Friday at 4 30, every usual, every every Friday and uh, Wednesday and Sunday, 4 30 p.m. We meet again in this channel. God bless and see you soon. Bye bye.